Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel guys. So I have a bit of a one-off video for you guys today. Today we're going to be ranking some Premier League kits. Now obviously the other day the Leeds United kit was also released. So we are also going to be having a look at that kit in today's video. Of course I did this video for the championship kits last week and it went down really well with you guys. And since I have been making championship videos for two years now, that means that we've got quite a lot of subscribers on the channel who support the likes of Wolves, Fulham, Cardiff, Newcastle, Huddersfield and Brighton. So I I thought I'd include everyone today and rank some Premier League kits and compare as to who has the nicer kits this season. Is it the Championship or is it the Premier League? Because there is a bit of a mixed bag in the Premier League this year, that is for sure. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be going through all the Premier League teams in alphabetical order. I'm going to be giving them a grading for how I think their kits are looking this season. We'll be looking at both their home and away kit. And then at the end of the video, we're also going to be looking at the new Leeds United kit, which was announced the other day, and I'm going to give my final verdict on that. So like I said, this is just a a bit of a one-off video don't worry there will be a championship video coming out tomorrow also I must say a massive thank you before we get into this we have just hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel which is honestly absolutely mental guys so to everyone who does continue to watch and support the channel I honestly can't say thank you enough because that is just absolutely crazy so the support over the last few months has been absolutely mental guys so like I said I can't say thank you enough but without further ado guys let's go ahead and get into ranking some of these kits so to talk about first of all we of course have Arsenal's new kits and uh, honestly they don't jump out of the page at me I wouldn't say that they're the best in the Premier League certainly not the worst it's just a standard Arsenal kit really the one thing that I don't like especially about the home kit is the pattern they've got on the sleeves it just looks a bit out of place to me you know you can see what they tried to do with this design pattern have the white on the shoulders and then contrast it with the red it looks all right it's just a bit too simplistic really the away kit I actually think looks quite nice with those dark colors mixing in overall for Arsenal it's gonna be a B minus then coming in next we have the Bournemouth kits I've got to say Umbro this season with a lot of their championship kits and the kits they make in the Premier League have really smashed it this year of course they've got that same design pattern on the sleeves like we've seen with a lot of championship clubs I like the design pattern of it it looks really nice the sponsor of this one as well really matches in with the stripes they've got and both kits I am a massive fan of. On the home kit, the gold trimmings they've got around the collar and the sleeves fits in very well. The away kit with those faint white stripes looks very nice as well and contrasts well with the red. And overall for Bournemouth, I'm going to give them a B plus. Very nice kits this year. And then next up we have the Brighton kits. Now I don't know if it's just me, but in my opinion, Nike this season have just been quite lazy with some of the kits they've been designing. Of course, that home kit for Brighton they've kept it very simplistic. And if you like that sort of shirt, you know it probably is going to you're probably going to be a big fan of it. In my opinion, it's just lacking some and maybe a design pattern on the sleeves or a collar or something. It's just a little bit too basic. And that away kit, I'm not going to lie, I'm really not a fan of that. Green on the away kit, it, it just looks like a bit of a goalkeeper kit to be honest. It, and wearing that outfield, I'm not really going to be a big fan of that. So Brighton this season, I'm going to go ahead and give them a C. Not a big fan of those kits. Then coming in next, we have the Burnley kit. And to my knowledge, they've only gone ahead and announced a home kit so far. So we're just going to be judging them off that. And to be honest... I'm not a big fan of this one. I think what ruins this shirt pretty much is the sponsor on it, you know. Having a giant poker chip just standing out there in the middle of the kit. I'm really not a big fan of that. I can see what they tried to do, you know. They tried to blend the colour of the shoulders with the blue in with the sponsor. But in my opinion, it's just not working for me. It looks a little bit tacky with that sponsor. So for Burnley, I'm going to go and give them a C-. minus. Not really doing it for me, that kit. Then next up, we have the Cardiff City kits. And I must say that these are a massive improvement on what they were wearing last year. Last year for Cardiff, their kit were really simplistic and I just wasn't a big fan of them in general really. Moving up to the Premier League now though, I am a much bigger fan of their kits this season. I think it's been a solid effort for them. Both their home and away kit blending quite well really. Of course with the home kit having the faint blue hoops going across it and then on the collar with the white on the shoulders as well, that looks quite nice. The away kit, I quite like the pattern on that as well. It goes in and blends in quite well with the blue. So two solid kits from Cardiff this season. Overall for them, I'm going to go ahead and give them a B. Then next we then have the Chelsea kits for this season and I don't know what it is about Chelsea but they always seem to be able to pull off a yellow away kit and that one this season is looking quite nice we'll talk about the home kit though first of all I quite like what they've done with this one they've changed up the design pattern a little bit for this one of course they've got the thin red and white stripes running across this one and it's a bit of a different design pattern but I feel like it matches it I feel like it's quite a nice kit really and uh, it's a pretty solid effort from them then moving on to the away kit there always seems to be something about Chelsea to be able to pull off something like this kit I think it's because the blue around the colour and on the badge contrasts very well with the bright yellow so overall 
overall for Chelsea, it's a good effort from them this year. I'm going to go ahead and give them a B plus. And another kit which has started to grow on me is the Crystal Palace kit. Now, the home kit, first of all, when I first saw that, I wasn't really the biggest fan of it, but I keep looking at it more and more, and it is growing on me a little bit. The whole colour scheme they've got going on, and the way that the stripes actually fade in and fade out up and down the shirt, I think that looks quite nice now. And the away kit especially, I mean, that just looks really fresh, really. Having the two stripes going across it looks really nice. It blends in well with the white, and the sponsor doesn't look too out of place. They've got a nice design around the colour as well. So, for Crystal Palace, I actually quite I like these kits. For that, I'm going to go ahead and give them a B plus. Decent effort from them. And then coming up next, we've got possibly, in my opinion, the two nicest kits in the Premier League this season. They are Everton's kits. There is just one thing that drags these kits down, in my opinion, and that's the fact that they've got Angry Birds slapped across the sleeves on these shirts. If it wasn't for that, these two kits, especially the home kit, would be near perfection for me. It's no surprise that they are made by Umbro. In my opinion, Umbro probably are the best kit manufacturers, especially for the ones they produce this season. But the blue pattern they've got especially on that home kit. It looks absolutely fantastic. The coal looks brilliant with the buttons going on as well. And of course, they've got that ombro design on the sleeves as well. Overall, that home kit for Everton looks absolutely fantastic. The away kit as well, I think that the pink and black looks very nice blending in together. Once again, though, they've got Angry Birds on there. It's just a little bit tacky and tin pot, really, isn't it? But if it wasn't for that, this would be near the perfect kit. But overall, for Everton this season, I'm going to give them an A. I really do like those two kits. Then we have Fulham on their return to the Premier League, coming in with two pretty strong contenders for two pretty nice kits in my opinion. The home kit, I like the design pattern that they've gone for this year, of course, designed by Adidas. I think the sponsor fits in well to that one and the pattern they've got going on around the shoulders looks very nice and the pattern they've got on the collar as well with the black and the white contrasting very nicely. And that away kit, I really do think looks very tidy this year. The pattern they've got on that, the fact that it contrasts with the yellow sponsor as well, I think that looks very much in place and it's probably one of my favourite away kits this year. Full overall, they've done pretty well with their kits this year. Overall, I'm going to give them an A- minus. Solid kits. Then we have the two Huddersfield kits coming up for this season. Another one made by Umbro. And overall, I think they're pretty solid going into this season. The away kit I'm probably a bigger fan of, although it does look very Bournemouth-esque. You know, it's a very Bournemouth-looking kit. But even so, I think it does look quite nice with the sponsor on there and the contrasting colours they've got going on. Obviously, the interesting thing about Huddersfield this season is they've got a bit of a throwback badge on there. I think that looks quite nice, really. Overall, Huddersfield, I'm going to give them a B. They're two pretty decent-looking kits this season. Next up, we then have the Leicester City kits. And for them, they're looking all right this season. I probably prefer their home shirt. The away kit is looking very similar to the Fulham one, although the design pattern is slightly different with a couple of different shades in there. I'm probably a bigger fan of the Fulham kit, to be honest, than that Leicester away kit. I don't think it looks as nice with the contrasting orange on that, but uh, that home kit, I think is looking very tidy. The design pattern they've got going on there, and the white on the shoulders is looking pretty nice for that one. So overall for Leicester, I'm going to give them a B for their efforts this season. And then we have the Liverpool kit, and one that definitely stands out is that purple kit. I can so that is definitely the sort of kit where you either absolutely love it or you absolutely hate it. It's certainly a bold one and when you go for that type of kit you need to be able to pull it off and in my opinion Liverpool have actually done it with that kit. I do think it looks very nice. That white kit I'm not the biggest fan of. I'm not sure what they tried to do with that really with the sort of grey pattern design they've got going on there. Not the biggest fan of that kit but talking about that home kit then uh, I quite like it. It looks pretty nice with that colour on. Over the last few years I've not been the biggest fan of Liverpool kits really but this year I think they've done a pretty good job so for Liverpool overall, I'm going to go ahead and give them a B plus. It's a good effort from them. Then we have the current holders of the Premier League, Manchester City. And honestly, these two kits massively contrast, in my opinion. The home kit, it's all right. I'm not really the biggest fan of it. I quite like what they try to do with the design on the sleeves. That looks quite nice, blending in with the rest of the blue. Of course, they've got one button on there. It's all right, but it just doesn't really jump out at me. But the away kit... Now that is a nice kit. Arguably one of the best away kits in the league this season. That away kit really drags up Man City's rating for this video. I love how the colour contrast goes in there with the sort of lime and blue with the dark colour going on for the rest of the shirt. That's a really fresh looking kit. So overall Man City, I'm going to go ahead and give them a B+. And then we have the Manchester United kit. Certainly some which have divided opinions since they came out, that's for sure. And my opinion on them, they've grown on me a little bit. You know, when the players might actually model them, I think they look better than when you're just looking at the shirt itself. But with that design they've got going across the bottom of it with the thin black lines, it doesn't look brilliant. It's a throwback to when United were founded. But even so, in terms of actual kit design, it doesn't really blend in with the, best, with the rest of the shirt, in my opinion. If that kit didn't have those lines, then it would probably be one of the nicest United kits in the, re in the past few years, really. But since it does, it just drags it down a little bit for me. The away kit, I think, drags it up a little bit. That looks pretty fresh. But overall for United, 
I'm going to give them a C, not really doing it for me this season their kits. Honestly, I was probably a bigger fan of the United kits when they were made by Nike, really. What do you guys think? Then next up we have Newcastle United. Now, I know there's a lot of frustration going around Newcastle at the moment, of course, with Mike Ashley and the lack of spending over this transfer window, but at least they've got one thing right, and that is, of course, their kits. They are looking fantastic this year, and in my opinion, are probably in contention for some of the nicest in the Premier League. All three of them are looking very nice. The home kit's looking very nice, and that third kit, I think it is, which is the blue one, is just looking incredible. The design pattern on that blue away kit matched in with what they've got going on around the neck just looks really fresh overall. The home kit looks fantastic and the away kit I am also a big fan of. So it is quite a frustrating time around Newcastle at the moment, but at least their kits are looking nice this season. Overall for Newcastle, I'm going to go ahead and give them an A. Some very nice kits from them this year. Next up we then have the Southampton kits and Southampton I think have done a pretty solid job this year. Of course, they've gone back to having the stripes on it. I probably prefer their home kit this year than the one they had last year and obviously going back to the stripes the Virgin Media sponsor fits in very well it goes with the colour scheme of the rest of the shirt I like what they've done around the colour and with the red shoulders the away kit for Southampton not the biggest fan of that it's alright but just a sort of a bit of a meh sort of kit for me but uh, that home kit I quite like it's looking pretty nice so overall for Southampton I'm going to go ahead and give them a B then next up we have the two Spurs kits now obviously it's similar to Man United's kit with the thin lines going across the bottom of it in my opinion it just drags it down a little bit it doesn't really fit in for the rest of the shirt. The away kit I really like the design of. That pattern they've got going on along the sleeves really fits in with the rest of the kit and is probably one of the nicer away kits this season. The home kit though isn't really doing it for me. So overall for Spurs, I'm going to go ahead and give them a B-. minus. And one team who has really changed up their kit this year is of course Watford. Now I've seen quite a lot of the reaction of this on social media and this Watford kit has really been dividing opinion amongst the fan base as well. Of course this is the first proper season where Watford have really had those stripes on the shirt and in my opinion it looks really nice of course it's a massive contrast to what they've had over the past few years but I really think it looks nice I think the sponsor blends in very well to the shirt as well it matches up with the badge so that's the reason it blends in the away kit does drag it down a little bit I'm not the biggest fan of that you know it's green it's got a bit of an odd pattern on it not the biggest fan of that that drags it down a little bit for me personally but judging off the just that home kit it is a pretty superb one so for Watford I'm gonna go ahead and give them an A minus then as our second to last kit to go ahead and look at from the Premier League clubs we have have West Ham United and this once again it was right up there in contention for some of the nicest kits this season it's no surprise that it is made by Umbro they are producing some of the best kits this season that home kit especially is looking absolutely superb it's got the thin stripes running across it which look really nice the sponsor fits in very well to it I like the white trimmings they've got around the neck and this design on the sleeves as well the away kit as well also looks very fresh for this kit you know they kept the away kit fairly simplistic but I don't necessarily think that's a bad kit West Ham this year have done a very good job with their kits. So for West Ham they're another side that I'm going to go ahead and give an A to. West Ham this year have really smashed that one out of the park. And then for our last pair of kits to go ahead and look at from the Premier League, that is of course going to be Wolves and Wolves are getting a lot of things right at the moment. You know, can we just talk about their transfer business for one minute? Their first season back in the Premier League and they're already signed the likes of Rui Patricio and Gial Moutinho. It is going to be a really big season for Wolves and I'd be interested to know from you guys, where do you realistically see Wolves finishing this season in the Premier League? League. Let me know down below. I will be doing the Premier League prediction video, but I'm interested to see where you guys see them finishing. But in terms of their kits, they're looking very nice this season. Uh, their home kit does seem to be a slightly different shade than what they usually go for, but nevertheless, it is looking very nice in my opinion. I like the black on both kits and how it contrasts with the rest of it. The only criticism I have of that Wolves kit is the W on the kit sponsor is perhaps a little bit too big. That could be maybe a tad bit smaller, but apart from that, they are two very nice kits from Wolves this season. Definitely in contention for some of the best in the Premier League in my opinion. So for Wolves and their kits, I'm going to go ahead and give them an A-. So guys, there are the Premier League kits which have been released so far. Let me know down below who you think has done the best and worst this season in terms of their kits. And before we go ahead and wrap up the video, of course, Leeds United have also gone ahead and released their kit the other day. And this is what they have managed to come up with. And in my opinion, I don't know, I just feel like it's a bit of an anti-climax really, of course. We waited a long time for this Leeds kit and I thought they were going to come out with something massive and it's an okay cake it but it doesn't really jump out at me in the time building up for Leeds actually to release this kit there were quite a lot of concept kits which actually came out and in my opinion some of them probably did look nicer than the actual kit which has been released but it's not a bad kit don't get me wrong by any stretch of the imagination they've kept it fairly simple this year with what they've done with their kids and it's a solid effort from Leeds nothing outstanding but not the worst kit in the world by any stretch so for Leeds United I'm going to go ahead and give them a B but guys that will now wrap it up for this video so like I said something a little bit different coming to you guys today there will be another championship video
video coming out tomorrow. And like I said at the start of the video, guys, thank you very much for 10,000 subscribers. The support on the channel recently has been absolutely mental. But like I said, guys, that will now wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed, make sure you do leave a like. It is always massively appreciated. As well as that, make sure you do subscribe for some regular championship content. But apart from that, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.